fashion sewers, it's Colleen G. Lee here and this is fashionsewingblog.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do tailor tacks. I've got two examples here of tailor tack. The first one here is what you call a traditional tailor tack which has two tails and a loop in the middle and the second one is a tailor tack that I do on my works which just has two tails. Now where you find um, tailor tacks usually on patterns where you need to do them are on darts. Where you can see these circles here. They indicate where you put tailor tacks. Pleats. And other positions such as zips and buttons etc. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do both tailor tacks. So, you've got one point into the fabric there and you bring it up into the other side of the fabric and pull it through. Now you need to leave a tail okay, and you go back into where you started and back through the position that you made and pull it through and leave the loop. And then I cut that away and there you have the traditional tailor sack with the loop and the second one which is what I do for my work and it's all about quickness, that's all it says, quickness. And through, through to the other end, pull, leave a long tail thread and that's it. Now the tail that I've done here is once you start to pull your fabric apart so you can get the underneath here and snip away so that you've got your marking on top as well as underneath. You've got a tail there, a little tack there and a tack on the front. Now with the traditional one what happens is it stops there. The loop stops you there. Cut and you still get the same effect there and there. Tailor tacks. And that's the one I use on my whip just for quickness.